Hola amigos! Are you looking for a way to practice even more Spanish and improve your Spanish fluency? Well, we're so excited to announce that Eat Your Spanish is now offering virtual Spanish lessons. Our virtual lessons are given by one of our amazing Eat Your Spanish teachers and are available to children of all ages and adults. Lessons can be one-on-one, -on -one, with siblings, or even with family friends. Members of our virtual lesson program will also receive free downloads of every song and activity for each episode of the podcast, as well as an invitation to join Evan and me for our monthly Eat Your Spanish virtual get-together, where we sing, tell stories, talk, and hang out all together. If you're interested in finding out more information or signing up, you can write us at evananvanessa at gmail.com or visit us at www.eatyourspanish.com and send us a message. We hope to hear from you soon. Now on with the show. Today, we'll be revisiting lesson numero ocho, which is all about our mascotas. Perfect! All right, amigas and amigos, go ahead and get your mascotas and snuggle right up and join us. This was such a wonderful memory. We still volunteer at the very same pet shelter, don't we, Mr. Mouse? Sure do. I'm getting really good at riding peros, I reckon. Oh, Mr. Mouse. <laughs> That's right. You sure are good with the lasso. <laughs> All right, amigos. Are you ready to travel back in time, all the way back to lesson numero ocho? Here we go! Hello friends. Hola amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz. To be with you. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre To sing and play A cantar y jugar Cause on our menu Porque en el menu It's Spanish today Everybody sing Eat your Spanish Eat your Spanish Eat your Spanish with us today Did you say spinach? No, I said Spanish Okay, please Evan and Vanessa. Hola, amigos. Hello, friends. Me llamo Evan. My name's Evan. Y yo me llamo Vanessa. And my name's Vanessa. Welcome to another episode of Eat Your Spanish. We're going to have an extra fun time together because today's lesson is all about pets. <coughs> Do any of you all have pets at home? Maybe a dog or a cat or a fish? Or a hamster? Well, guess what? Today we'll get to learn the names of all of these pets that I just listed, or mascotas in Spanish. We hope you're ready to have some fun. Here we go. Spanish lesson time! So today we'll practice saying the words for cat, dog, fish, and hamster since those are some of the most common pets. And if the pet that you have is different from one of the four we just listed, don't worry because we'll have many more episodes about animals in the future. So Vanessa, how do you say dog, cat, fish, and hamster in Spanish? Good question. So the word for cat in Spanish is gato. Dog is perro, fish is pez, and hamster is hamster. Actually, this is a really good chance to mention what a cognate is. When a word is almost the same or exactly the same in two different languages, that's called a cognate. So the word hamster or hamster in Spanish is a cognate. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I love these little details about languages. They can be so much fun. All right, so now that we've learned our words for the day, we can try practicing them together. I'll say the word first, and then you repeat it along with Evan. Let's start with the Spanish word for cat, which is gato. So repeat after me. Gato. 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 
Muy bien, amigos. The next word up is the word for dog, which in Spanish is perro. Repeat after me. Perro. 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 Excelente! Dos more to go. In Spanish, the word for fish is pes. Let's say it together. Pes. 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 Muy bien, amigos! Our last word for today is the word for hamster. And remember, even though this is a cognate and it's spelled the same way, it's pronounced a little differently. So for hamster, we say hamster. Repeat after me. Hamster. 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 Excelente, amigos! Excellent work, friends! Now it's time to sing a Spanish song together. I hope you've got your singing voices ready. Spanish song time! Now that you've heard and practiced the words we'll be using today, we'd like to teach you our special song called Mascotas. This song is a little unique because you'll have the opportunity to sing in English, Spanish, and in animal sounds. That's right! In the verse of the song, I'll sing an animal name like this. Mi gato. And when I sing that animal's name, I want you all to meow like a cat. So it goes like this. Mi gato. Meow, meow, meow. Mi gato. Meow, meow, meow. Mi gato. Meow, meow, meow. And then we'll all sing the end together. Mi gato is my cat. So, Vanessa, what animal sounds should we make for perro, pes, and hamstead? Hmm, let's see. How about for perro, which is dog, we go woof, woof, woof. For pes, which is fish, we can go blub, 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 like bubbles popping. And then for hamster, we can go squeak, squeak, squeak. How does that sound? That sounds great. And amigos, if you feel like you know the song well enough to sing other parts that we didn't go over, then please sing along. That's part of the magic of music. Sometimes you memorize the words to an entire song without even trying. So sing loud and sing proud. Here we go. On 
the land and throughout the sea. There are lots of animals here with me. That's the truth. Now let's sing along to the animals we name in this song. On the land and throughout the sea, there are lots of animals here with me. Let's give them love to help them grow, and they'll be the best friends we'll ever know. Wow, that was great! Thanks for singing along. It's so much fun to sing all together. Yeah, it makes learning Spanish really fun. I think Evan and I are going to go for a walk outside now, but we're going to leave you with a couple of our special friends. Evan, do you want to tell everyone who's here for a visit? Sure thing. It's our good friends Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. Well, I've got a couple friends, and don't you know? If I told you who they were, well, you might say, "Aw, he's as tiny as a flower. She's as giant as a house." Yes, it's Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. Oh. Hello. Um, Mrs. Elephant. Hey, it's. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Mouse. I thought you were one of them telemarketers trying to sell me leg braces or whatever it is again. Don't they know that my legs are fine? Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be right out. Are you outside? Yeah, I'm I'm right outside. Can't wait for our special trip to the animal shelter. Okay, I'll be right out. Hmm. Well, hi there, Mr. Mouse. Como estas? How are you? I can't wait to get there and spend some quality time with all those little animals. I know I can't wait. Let's roll. Taxi, taxi. <laughs> to the animal shelter and step on it. <laughs> We're not too far away now. I can't wait to see the gatos. They might be my favorite animal. I just love the way they get to purring up a storm when you scratch them on their little chins. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot of respect for gatos, but I sometimes get a little nervous around them. I'm just not always in the mood to get chased. I'm more of a perro kind of guy. I just love how loyal and playful, I mean juguetón, perros are. Also, I really love taking walks and eating out of trash cans, so a perro just makes sense for me. Well, my goodness, I hadn't even thought of that. Are you sure you want to go be around a bunch of kitty gatos if there's a chance they might try to, well, um, <laughs> eat you? Yeah, no worries, babe. As long as you're nearby, I think I'm safe. <laughs> well, that's definitely true. I wouldn't let anyone harm a hair on your little head. Yay! We're here. That was fast. No time like the present. Let's go on in. Wow, this place is awesome! So many beautiful creatures to see. All right, babe, let's go to work. This sweet gal at the counter over here gave me a clipboard with a few different animals we can help with today. So first, we've got the gatos. They need their nails trimmed. Then the perros need to be walked. Then last but not least, we just need to feed the pez and the hamster. All right, let's do it. Okay, now here we go. But please, just be careful walking in here. These gatos need extra special care, since they live in a shelter instead of a warm, cozy home. It means that they might be a little more feisty than your average cat. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Maybe I'll just stay on top of your head while you're doing the nail clipping. Are you nice and cozy up there, sweetheart? Yep, I'm ready to go. Well, hi there, little sweeties. Look how they're playing. Oh, my goodness. Hi, little baby. Come here. Let me get a look at you. Well, those are the cutest whiskers I've ever seen. Except for yours, sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. Could they be any cuter? Come here, little baby. Oh, I think I'll clip this one's nails. I'll just pick him up and... Oh, there you go, sweet little gato. Heavenly Day 
Jesus, why didn't you tell me your tail was in its mouth? Oh dear, let's get out of here. <sighs> that was a close one. Maybe the cachos just aren't for me. But I'll tell you what, I'm super ready to go walk some perros. You got it, Mr. Mouse. Sorry again for that little mishap. I think I may have leaned in a little close while I was clipping, and that rascally little gato must have snuck up and sucked on your tail like a spaghetti noodle. No worries, babe. Now let's go walk some perros. Cowboy style. <laughs> That's a very interesting, uh, leash you have there, Mr. Ma- Wait a second, is that a saddle? <laughs> yeah. Walking dogs can be tricky when you're only two inches tall. Besides, this makes it so much more fun. Oh, Mr. Mouse, you are one of a kind. I just cannot wait to watch this. <laughs> Let me just saddle up this nice chihuahua. Hey there, buddy. Come on over. I won't hurt you. Oh, my word. Who are you, Mr. Mouse? I can't believe it. Woohoo! Get along! Mr. Mouse, I've never seen this side of you before, and I've certainly never seen anything like this in all my years. I never knew you could ride like that. Are you sure you're not a cowboy? Whoa, pedal whoa! Hello there, little lady. The name's Senor Raton. I'm the sheriff around these parts, and you look like a thief. Oh, excuse me, a thief? That's right. I reckon you've gone and stolen my heart. Oh, <laughs> you are just the cutest little sheriff I have ever seen. Well, Senor Raton, it looks to me like it's feeding time. We signed up to feed the hamster and the pesses out in the fish pond. I can't wait to spend the rest of the day with more adorable creatures. But first, would you like to grab a bite to eat with me? It's been a very eventful morning. <laughs> I think it's actually feeding time for us, too. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Whew. Chihuahua riding makes me super hungry. Looks like we gotta hit the old dusty trail. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mouse, we're just going to Jimmy's Pizza Parlor. Wow, what a fun day Mr. Mouse and Mrs. Elephant had together. Yeah, that was super funny. Whoever thought a little mouse could ride a perro like that? <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. And I thought it was really brave of him to try being in the room with all of Los Gatos, the cats. It's a good thing that they got out of there before he was sucked up like a spaghetti noodle. That sound means it's almost time to say goodbye. We had such a fun day today. First we learned the Spanish words for cat, which is gato, for dog, which is perro, for fish, which is pes, and for hamster, which is hamster. Then we got to sing our special Spanish song. Singing and playing music is one of my favorite things to do, and I'm so happy that we all get the chance to sing together. Me too. And let's not forget about Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. They're such good friends, and I know they had a lot of fun visiting the animal shelter today. They sure did. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye for now, but it's okay. We'll have one more song to sing. That's right, our goodbye song. I hope you'll sing with us. Bye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later.